guys, Coach George Status here. And I'm gonna do a little bit of an unboxing here. And what do I got? What do I got? What do I got? Yeah, I got something really good. Now, let me just open it up. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, see? Oh, wow. What do we got, man? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, yeah. All right. We got uh, spot ink, belt squat, and this is the original OG as far as I'm concerned. This is the original one. And you've probably seen this in gyms over the last many, many, many years. And this will probably outlast all of us. Uh, put that away. All right, so it's actually very heavy duty. I've never actually seen one damaged. They usually come in or uh, yellow, yellow. Most of the uh, spot ink equipment came in yellow. And uh, I actually do prefer the black and doesn't come with a carabiner. Uh, according to the website, it can hold 7,500 pounds. I'm not sure why it's got that. Now, thus far, this belt, I've been doing belt squats for 30, 40 years, actually. This is my original. <laughs> I actually bought this in 1989. Do you guys know how far 1989 is? I bet you most of you guys listening to me are not, weren't even born in 1989. So this has been with me, 1989. It's actually traveled the world. As you can see, the nylon, it's been everywhere, man. The hottest places on the earth. Really, really. And I've done squats, belt squats all over the place. Uh, I would have to use an extended chain. Have to use an extended chain. And my problem was this would always rip up my pants. This would always rip up my pants. And then usually in a gym setting or if a client or somebody had one of these spud ink belt squats, obviously we would use that. And during uh, the closures, I'm not sure why I didn't order this. Sure why. Now then during the closure, I actually got my hand on the Bells of Steel belt squat, dip squat, and uh, it was cheap, it was cheap, and it did the job, I've had it now for about four years, got a lot of people that have had it for four years, I know more people that have this, I know more gyms that have this than this, so somebody was asking me, hey coach, how come you don't have the belt squat belt <laughs> from spot, I don't know, I didn't have a good answer, uh, maybe because I threw this in an order, Probably I ordered a barbell from Bells of Steel and I just threw that in and never really got to it. And actually, uh, I was doing more squats the last couple of years than belt squats. Now, the reason why I wasn't doing belt squats is because of the setup. Um, rubber was expensive and I wasn't really in the mood to cut uh, rubber. And actually, even with my leg injury, my legs were feeling really good until up maybe about a year ago. So belt squats was more of an accessory as it always has been. Actually, no, I take that back. Belt squats for the majority of my life have always been primary because I had a was run over by a car about 25 years ago. So I couldn't squat anyways. And the safest method of not <laughs> would be belt squats. Uh, so belt squats for me has always been an exercise that I add in, add in for my clients too as a form of cardio. Now you can get two 16 inch height stools and you can set things up pretty sure. Now, my problem recently for me and a couple of people, always, anyway, you're gonna reach it, depends who you're training, who your clients are. But for myself, uh, those stools are 300 pounds each, and I'm doing over 300 pounds of weight, plus I weigh 225, plus I'm putting on a thing, so there's a lot of weight. 
So I said I better start investing into a proper belt squat because I, uh, squats are actually bothering me again. Now, the problem was the heavier I was going with the, the bells of steel, the more it started digging into my thighs. Now, not always, but that particular day, I didn't know what I was getting. Either a great workout or a ruined workout. So, uh, again, the spot in for Canadians, it's really cheap. I think it's about a 135 on Amazon. And I don't know why people complain about that because this is going to last you forever, forever. And I don't even think there's a re I don't even think there's a problem reselling this because even if you were to buy it for 135, use it for five years. And I, like I said, I know a lot of these belts that are around for maybe 10 years old. I know I can probably go pick them up. If they're not 10 years old, they have to be at least six, seven. <laughs> okay. Never had a complaint from a client. Uh, very, very rarely I've had this dig into me. Uh, the problem is I haven't used this belt in uh, maybe about three or four years. And I kind of lost touch with it. I forgot how it actually feels. So I go, let me just buy one again and see. Because a lot of people are not going as heavy as I am. And they're using different stuff. Maybe like a cable machine or whatever. I'm actually using a pin. So it's a little different feel as opposed to vertical cable. It's actually down. And a little bit more pressure downward now this sometimes is killing me uh this original bad boy <laughs> i can't tell you how many pants it's destroyed or how many scars i have on it's right here this guy so uh interesting that on the spud ink website they say this can handle 7500 pounds obviously it's nylon uh i don't know if they've ever tested that but i believe it like i said i've never seen one destroyed the, then i tried to look for this guy and i don't have it and I know a lot of people, I, I'm one of them, think that this actually scratches out. I know some people think the Rogue Belt Squat scratches out too. Now, if we can see here, I'm going to put this on and... I'm gonna put this on here, and you would need a carabiner. So you grab it like that, and then. So, actually, really fits nice. Let's see what you guys see. Okay, let me just stop the video for a sec and see what you guys see. All right, guys. Ooh. All right, guys, Coach Your Status back here. Now I got the Spot Ink Belt Squat. First look, first thing. Not a first look, I've used this 100,000 times. But for you guys, I just wanna give you guys a little quick review. So that would be there. So you actually wanna put the Belt Squat right on your hip. I think a lot of people go too high. That's too high. <laughs> you actually want to go a little lower. So basically it feels really, really good. Now you don't want this to dig in. Now the problem is the heavier you go, things start changing. So here we are there. Okay. Actually feels really, really nice guys. A lot better than the Bells of Steel one, that's for sure. And come down, up, down, up. So it's actually very, very s smooth. Now, as you go heavier and your things are gonna go a little bit, start changing a little bit, more pressure against you. <sighs> It's a very nice for the money I actually consider it free and why would I say that so why would I say free 
So if you're in Canada, this was about 135, depending on the day, okay? If you're in Canada, this is 50 plus tax, okay? So let's just call it what it is. This is 135. If you're a Prime member at Amazon, you get free shipping, a couple of days, whatever. Let's call it what it is, 140, let's call it 60. This guy here, you'll always get your money back. So you'll get at least 50 bucks. So you can use this for five years and still get your money back. This, you use it for uh, whatever. Nobody's gonna give you more than 10, 15 bucks for this trash, okay? So that's just my opinion. I don't know anybody that would pay five, 10, 15 bucks for this. Used, how used, I don't know. And then when they can buy a new one for 50, 60 bucks, even if you check out on a sale or whatever, I'm sure you can get it for 50 bucks a couple of times throughout the year when Bells of Steel has a sale, just like they had a sale in my, if you haven't seen my unopening there. So I think the best option, this is a way more comfortable, way more proven belt squat okay it's proven i don't think it's i've never heard of it ripping or damaging i've actually seen some that look you know really really used and that's actually really really good because it tells you you know if this can stand in a commercial powerlifting gym where people are using it all day every day for years on end and it's still there that's great this guy here I don't know any powerlifting gym commercial that uses it. Have a lot of people that do use it. Uh, if you're gonna be going lightweight, probably I would say under 200, you might be pretty good with it. Uh, but then when you start doing with the big boys, I think you actually need the bigger, uh, bigger, bigger. This is what, three inches is about four and a lot thicker, a lot thicker, and yeah. So, there's the unboxing of the belt squat. I'm actually going to start using it again just to get a feel for it. Like I said, I've used it a thousand times, done <laughs> thousands of reps with it. Never really had a complaint with it. I like it. My clients like it. Never heard too many complaints about it. The reviews on Amazon seem to be legit for what I've known as a coach recommending it and knowing hundreds of people that have used it and yeah so if i had to make a recommendation i would say just go with this one yes it's double the money of the bells of steel but uh you will have more comfortable workouts if you're strong 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 definitely go out with this one even if you gotta go save an extra two three months i don't know what's going on over here but I would actually just save up. I think if you're gonna be using big, big, serious weights, and then you can use this for other stuff too, for dips, for sled work. You know, you can use it for sled work, for pulling backwards, pulling forward. You'll find many uses for it, and it'll be super, super comfortable. Now, I don't know, I'm a little different. A lot of people I work with are a lot of different. So I'm not gonna exchange comfort and safety for 60 bucks. So if you're going to use this for the next 200 workouts over the next 5, 10 years and 60 bucks savings is worth being uh, uncomfortable, uh, maybe having ruined workouts. Like I said, sometimes now when I'm going heavy, it's digging right in. Not always, not always, but lately it's been happening a little bit more than I wanted to. And a ruined workout is a ruined missed opportunity to get better. So... I'm going to cut it out there, guys. I would say go and spend the extra money on the Spud Inc. Uh, belt squat. And uh, I think uh, it's proven. It's a proven belt. Go for it. All right. Coach Stannis out. Like, subscribe, share. Uh, yeah.